What's up? Tube Tube. Welcome back to Low Guido's Chop Shop, the second best gel blaster channel on the tubes. And today on the bench, I have the Car 98K. I don't know if you can see that, the double bell Car 98K. Um, according to this label, it's got a precision gun tube, 6.02 millimeter, which is I'm assuming that's the barrel uh, inner diameter, which is quite small. Anyway, nickel plating steam jane, Japanese rubber pishkon, and series 102 is available for CO2 and ET1000, Korean spring steel wire. Cool, uh, I don't know what any of that means. Let's open the box. Oh, wow. This looks amazing. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, this is probably going to be a little bit different from most of my videos. Uh, usually I would sort of test it and pull it apart and see what's inside, but I am not going to pull this apart. Um, what I am going to do is show you some some shots of the detail. It's uh, such a nice bit of kit. This is all real wood. Very, very nicely. I'd say, I'd say handcrafted, I'm going to say. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's done by a machine or anything. It looks very nice, uh, but not, doesn't uh, look perfect, do you know what I mean? It's got that sort of handmade look about it, like... Everything, like you've got your rear sight here, which is elevation adjustable. Um, looks like there's a some sort of rail mount type, like one of those early side mount rail types on the side. You can see in here some of the hand finishing. And in here, you can see that it's very nice, but um, there's a sling mount there. It's not, um, it's not perfect, but it's not ugly imperfect, if you know what I mean. It's very nice work, but... Um, noticeably hand done. Now usually with my videos I'd be pulling things apart and whatnot and uh, I mean there's not a whole lot to this blaster to pull apart and given that I'm not an expert in car 98s uh, I 
I'm not going to pull it apart, but I did notice that there is this little piece here that slides forward and then this top part comes out to expose the barrel and uh, you can see that I could be, like, I mean I could be wrong, it does, it looks looks hand finished to me um, I, I think it is, but I mean, I'm sure someone can correct me, but it looks amazing, like wood, metal, 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 everything's probably about as realistic as a car 98 would be. Now I'm not an expert on car 98, so someone can probably correct me in the comments, but um, yeah. Bolt action. Now I haven't filled the gas up in this yet, so what I will do actually, um, I'll just eject that shell and push this bolt forward and that's the gas port there. So I think I'll fill some gas into that. Uh, it's like a like a green gas uh, fill port. If you are familiar with the um, green gas filling procedure, you just push the little nozzle into there. But um, the box did say that this is capable. This is capable of CO2. So um, yeah, I'm going to be using the uh, this. Brute Sniper Gas. Now, um, generally, this is not recommended uh, because it's a bit too powerful for a lot of uh, green gas based blasters, but given that this is actually a CO2, it's designed for CO2, um, there shouldn't be any issues with running this gas in it. Ooh, all right, so this bottle is leaky AF. That's not ideal. That was actually the bottle, to <laughs> the bottle that was leaking there, not the blaster. So um. Alright, now what I'm going to have to actually do, I'm going to have to uh, pop these shells out and uh, fill them with uh, gel because they are not filled with gel. Alright, so I've gassed up gassed up the blaster. Now I've got the little shells. I'm going to have to put one gel into each shell. I do have a um, little machine here for loading these. Hopefully it works. So far so good. There we go. Alright, so. Gels are in the shells. Let's get these bad boys in here. Well, if you're after realism, doesn't get much realer than that. Let me set up a chrono. Alright, 
All right, here we go. Oh man, how am I gonna? I have to stand a mile back from my corner. <laughs> oh, there we go. Something happened and I didn't eject the shell and then I tried <laughs> to load the next one, it wouldn't load. Alright, here we go. Last shell. Alright, and that's empty. Okay. What did I actually get there? Um, okay, <laughs> so from the, what was I, uh, <laughs> 683, 749, 780, 247, 560, and 931. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's an average of 696 FPS. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to go with maybe, maybe my chrono is insufficient for <laughs> measuring what's going on here. Um, that does seem just a little bit ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I have been shot by one of these down at Urban the other day, and I can tell you they definitely feel, <laughs> they definitely feel like 500 FPS. Um, that, that's kind of crazy. Um, all right. I want to look at these shells as well. I don't know if you can see in here. Yeah, you can. Just in here. The shell is actually O-ringed in here. So that, um, when the bolt pushes that shell in, it actually seals into the back of that shell. And then the front actually seals into an O-ring into the front, so, um, so, uh, let's take a look at some of that action. So, got the shell in there, pushes the shell in. And then, after you've fired it, the ejector will release the shell. And if you do it quickly, it actually will come out. But I, I do it a little bit slowly, just so that um, so that I don't have to pick up shells everywhere. But let's have a look at let's have a look at that action. Such a nice action, such a nice action. I don't know what more to say about this thing. It looks nice, it feels nice, it's heavy, it's really heavy because it's all wood and metal. Uh, the action is nice, the ejecting shells thing is cool. It's not a blaster that you would take to a competition and use unless it was some sort of like World War Two Milsim, perhaps, maybe, um, but it it's it's really good fun for plinking around. 
um, powerful as anything, like, <laughs> so powerful, I could, uh, my chrono can't even, it, it can't even, so, yeah, this thing is no joke, it is a really fun blaster, uh, <laughs> like I said, not a competition blaster, definitely a fun plinker though, um, so nice, everything, I like it, metal trigger guard, Oh, so good. I don't know what more to say. Guys, thanks for watching. Car 98. Gas version. Um, I don't think there's many of these, if any of these, left in the country for sale. So, if you got one, well, you got lucky. But uh, if they do get more in, and you're into this, this is definitely something you should have. It's awesome. Alright. Anyway, I've said enough. Peace.